Pokemon shirt cooperate today. Don't have time for your bullshit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today, we're covering something that I meant to cover like a long time ago. I actually meant to cover it in the last video that I posted, but then I pushed it again, so sorry. Anyway, we're looking at the episode of The Muppet Show that guest starred Mark Hamill. I chose this episode because I thought it was gonna get posted on May 4th, that's what I wanted. It is now June 24th as I'm recording this, so I'm only a month and a half, almost two months behind schedule. Whoops. I also have not watched this yet, because why do research when you can just not and be surprised like everybody else? 15 seconds to curtain, Mr. McGonagall. Oh, in case you don't know, The Muppet Show is about the Muppets putting on a variety show. It is a variety show starring the Muppets. Yes, sir. I think everybody knows that, but still. <laughs> God, not two seconds in, Mark Hamill just busts through the wall of Angus McGonagall's dressing room with C-3PO in tow. It's Luke Skywalker and C-3PO and R2-D2 from Star Wars. Wait, is R2-D2 also there? Excuse me, Master Luke. He is! There's R2-D2! Mark Hamill rolled up with the whole crew. But what is this strange world we've come to? Beats me, 3PO. Seems we've landed on some sort of comedy variety show planet. I mean, if you're gonna hang out on Earth, you might as well hang out with the Muppets. It's the best it's that we can do as humanity. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest stars, the stars of Star Wars. Yay! Yay! You know what I just noticed? I have never actually sat down and watched the Muppet Show. I've seen clips, but I've never sat down and watched even a full episode, I don't think. I really need to fix that. I guess I am fixing it now, but still. It's time to play the music. Sheepish? Me. Sheep. It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. Oh, Miss Piggy really had a different design back in the day, huh? Everybody else looks pretty much the same. Let me see if I can get another good look at Miss Piggy. Until about two minutes ago, our guest star was scheduled to be Angus McGonagall, the Argyle Gargoyle. Yay! But we have canceled him. Oh. That commit this is an outrage. Poor Mr. McGonagall. I demand my spot. He got all dressed up. He got camera ready. And you're gonna play him like this? I gargle Gershwin. Will you get off the stage? Bye, Mr. McGonagall. I think you probably had interesting things to say. Believe it or not, with us tonight are none other than the stars of Star Wars featuring special guest Mark Hamill. But I am going to admit, Mark Hamill is a great guest, so sorry, Mr. McGonagall. Let us go where sheep may safely graze. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. We get a Muppet sheep segment. Ram, lamb. Ding dong. Ram, lamb. Ding, ding dong. They're singing. They're such a cute, fluffy little sheep choir. Ram, Muppet over here is supposed to be a relative of Kermit because there's a family resemblance. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. No, I guess she's not even a frog, but I don't know. I swear I thought it was a girl Muppet frog. Getting off topic already, sorry. Well, actually, no, I'm commentating on this episode, and that's my commentary. I just... It's weird commentary, but it's there, and it's mine. I have such a fascination with variety shows because I was born after they were a really big thing. And I don't know if it's the ADHD in my brain or what, but there's just something about smaller segments making up a bigger thing that just holds my attention in a better way. Yay, yay. I love the old guy Muppets. They always make me think of my dad. Not because you're grouchy like they are, Dad. It's just... I know that they're your favorite Muppets, so, you know, them and Fozzie Bear. I also think of my dad when I see Fozzie Bear. Uh, say, aren't there more of you? Oh, we don't know. Why not? Well, every time we try to count ourselves, we fall asleep. <laughs> I am so easily entertained. May I say what an honor it is to make the acquaintance of such a distinguished amphibian? I mean, yeah, you could call him an amphibian. You could also probably just call him a person. 
We've talked about this. I think animals should have personage. <laughs> Kermit the Frog definitely deserves to be counted as a person. And, and, and incidentally, why are you fellas here? We are searching for Chewbacca. <gasps> Chewbacca's also gonna be here? Is Chewbacca backstage? I love Chewbacca. I should have used my Chewbacca mug. He's being kidnapped. <gasps> kidnapped? Wait a minute. So Chewbacca's being held hostage? Poor Chewbacca. Well, why are you looking around here? We received this hyperspace telegram from him. What? Uh, to Luke Skywalker. I didn't know Chewbacca could speak English. If Chewbacca can speak English, what's with the, you know, the ha? <laughs> Sorry. What's with the Chewbacca speak? Why did I sit through a bunch of unintelligible Wookiee speak on the Star Wars Holiday Special? That's not the worst part of the Star Wars Holiday Special. There's a lot of worse things about the Star Wars Holiday Special. Help, I am being held prisoner by a bunch of weird turkeys. <laughs> It does rather sound like your show. Ouch, but fair, you know? Remember all the run! I'll search upstairs! Rebio, you cover that exit! Okay, calm down. It's all right. Down with the Empire! They're not part of the Empire. Miss Piggy might be part of the Empire, but most of them are probably fine. I'll try to calm him down. But you know how strangely excitable these humans are? What do you mean? I've never been excitable about anything in my life. Also, I'm gonna say this now because if I don't, I'm just gonna be thinking about it for the rest of this video. You know how like that Mandela effect thing, everybody was talking about Mandela effects and like one of them that we don't talk about enough is that C-3PO apparently has always had one silver leg? What the hell is that about? That's a mind fuck if I've ever seen one. He's always had that? Here are the results of today's National Sheepdog Trials. Aw, you can't throw the sheepdogs in jail. All the sheepdogs have been found not guilty. <laughs> I guess the sheep would beg to differ. I'm practicing for my big number in the second part of the show. He's never given off more. So anyway, here's Wonderwall energy than he does right now. <laughs> ma, ma, I'm bug, I'm bug. Everybody's a critic. I mean, I don't really think about myself as a critic. I think about myself as like your weird internet friend who has way too much time on her hands. Oh, hey, did you guys find Chewbacca? Not yet, but he's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, well, you know, as long as the three of you are here, how about you go out on stage and do a song for us? Yeah, since you're here looking for a person who's being held hostage and this seems like an emergency situation, why don't you go out there and do a number? What? must be joking. Also, did you see Luke's face? What? What? I couldn't. Well, look, your little garbage can friend wants to. He definitely wants to. Listen, pal, we're on a mission. There's no way we're gonna be involved in any third-rate variety show. Too late. Second-rate variety show. You're a first-rate variety show. Who are we kidding? You're, you're my camel. Yes! This is gonna be an existential moment. Is this like the episode of Supernatural where they bust into the alternate universe where Supernatural is just a TV show and it gets super meta? Uh, no, huh? No, 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 uh, he's my cousin. Wait a minute, so either Luke Skywalker knows of the existence of Mark Hamill or this is just Mark Hamill screwing with everybody. Either definition is hilarious to me. He's my cousin and he's right outside. Oh, we'll go get him, hurry! I'm a big fan of his. That TV quick change, everybody. They cut it together like he didn't even, he wasn't even gone before he came back. What do you do, Mark? Oh, uh, well, you know, I've been uh, known to do impressions. I love that we appreciate Mark Hamill for his uh, voice acting talents nowadays. Because I feel like back in the day, nobody really appreciated that as a skill that he had. He's a great voice actor. There are still voices that he did that I'm just now finding out about to this day and I'm like what that was Mark Hamill the entire time oh I just love doing them ah, terrific. I really want to love anything the way that Mark Hamill clearly loves being on the Muppet show everybody who has ever worked at a Jim Henson project has nothing but good things to say about it Tim Curry still references um, Muppet Treasure Island as like the his favorite project of his entire career and that's what gives me so much respect for uh, Jim Henson and the Henson Company. On top of the creativity, just the fact that like, as somebody who has my own um, sets and makes films, my biggest goal is just that I want everybody who works on one of my films to be happy and have a good time being there. So like, that's a huge thing. Like that is 
that is such a great reputation to have. Maybe I just better sing. Just notice that you can see this here, this arm. Please ignore it. It is simply the arm that I use to hold my phone up because I use it as a second monitor when I live stream. Shit, I'm live streaming tonight. What time am I going live? Half an hour from now. Cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> Actually, we have enough singers on the show. No, let him sing. I wanted to hear a full version of that. I know. How about a dancing comedian? Mark Hamill was giving off dad vibes even back in the day. I think he technically was a dad at this point in time, but you know what I mean. Hey, did you hear about the scientist who crossed a toad with a saxophone? He got a frog horn. Get out. Out of the theater. We don't need you. Thank you very much, Indio. No, come back. We love you. I didn't get his autograph. Why nobody leave? The idea of Mark Hamill having this Hannah Montana setup on The Muppet Show is just fantastic. I love it. Oh boy. Isn't that Luke Skywalker terrific? Now that's what I want to see is just a show where Mark Hamill is like jumping realities back and forth to be Luke Skywalker and live his life as Mark Hamill all at the same time. My chance at last! Hit it, boys! Speechless. I'm speechless, but in a good way. Is that a Muppet Loch Ness Monster? Swim, said the mama fishy. Swim if you can. And they swam and they swam all over the dam. How dare these Muppet fish sing an earworm into my head. Is somebody coming into my room or is it a cat? It's a cat. Everybody say hi. Hi. Bye. They swam and they swam right out to sea. Swam out of the sea? Where are they going? I guess they could go into a lake or a river. Or a sewage system? Please don't go there, little fishies. Tell all of us something better start. This feels so reminiscent of Finding Nemo. Wouldn't it be hilarious if the next big scandal is that the creators of Finding Nemo stole it from the Muppet Show? And they swam and they swam back home. And then Mama Fish said, see? Should've listened to me, dumb kids. Uh, well, folks, our own Scooter has prepared an act for us. Scooter! And after listening to Mark and Angus Gershwin gargling, anything should sound good. I didn't mind the gargling. Uh, anyhow, so let's give a big welcome to Scooter singing Six String Orchestra! Yeah! I love when Kermit gets happy and does that, like, wavy thing with his arms. My mother said you're nothing yet. To make the folks right home. Oh, it's a song about disappointing your parents. Fun. And so I dream a beast will join me and fill the bottom in. Oh, it's a song about ghost rock stars. Ghost rock stars would be the great name for that band. Me and my monophonic symphony, six string orchestra. Ghost orchestra. That would also be a good name for the band. I'll accept ghost orchestra. I need some. Oh my god, the sequins are a look. That's a look. I respect it. There's a lot of sequins, though. I feel like I'm being blinded by them. Uh, someday I'm gonna be a star. I believe in you, Scooter. Although I do think it's kind of funny that they wouldn't let Mark Hamill sing, but they gave Scooter a song about how he's not that great at music. Well, I was trying to tell you the Star Wars people have hijacked the swine trick. Wait, what? That sounds bad. <laughs> Kermit clearly thinks that's bad. <laughs> I vibe with that panicky Kermit. At least he didn't panic. Also, is Robin canonically uh, Kermit's relative? Or are they not? I know that he plays his kid in more than one Muppet thing. Yeah. I'm not awfully keen on this spaceship, Master Luke. Yeah, so will you stop? You don't hear R2 complaining, do you? I don't think R2 is able to complain. <laughs> yes, I do. He just said it's like a pigsty. I don't think that's the standard, that everybody has to complain before it's a bad situation. I'm Luke Skywalker. My friends and I have just borrowed your spaceship so we can rescue our friend, Chewbacca the Wookiee. Yeah, you know, borrowing without permission, also known as stealing. Mm. It's Luke Skywalker. 
Yeah, Miss Piggy definitely was- what is actually different? I could probably sit here and isolate it, but I think it's mostly she just- they gave her a heavier makeup look back in the day. She still looks great, just looks different. Yes, I have one very important question I'd like to ask you. I'm supposed to know all these Muppets, these Space Pig Muppets names, I'm sure. But all I'm thinking is that they're basically just Muppet Futurama, and in a good way. I'm Dr. Strange Pork. Dr. Strange? I'm Dr. Strange Pork. Oh, I don't like that as much as Dr. Strange. Hey, could I play with your toy robot? He's not a toy robot. He's a scientifically programmed droid, and he's not to play with. Aw, C-3PO does care about R2. <laughs> Oh my god, is he okay? Is R2 okay? Did it hurt R2? I'm concerned about R2-D2. Now oh, you've got my jacket size. Is Mark Hamill a lefty? Is he part of the lefty club? I feel so honored. <laughs> Miss Piggy with the Leia hair is such an iconic look. Oh, it is I, the princess! Oh. Princess? Yes, yes, I have just escaped from an evil... Oh, if you're trying to hit on Mark Hamill, you don't want to... That's his sister. You don't... You don't... I don't know if everybody knew that at this point in time yet. I don't know when this came out, but eh, you don't want to go there. Well, the evil fiend must feed his prisoner as well. Luke, no body shaming. <laughs> what? We're not cool with that here on Earth. Well, some people are, but those people are assholes. Look, Skywalker. Go along with this or I'll cut you in half. Jesus, calm down. Look, it's the princess. <laughs> I think Miss Piggy is just holding everybody hostage. Doesn't look like the princess to me. Watch it, hardware. Miss Piggy needs to tone it down. And look who's there. Who is it? <laughs> oh, oh no, Death Nader. Oh no, wait. Stay tuned for part two when the swine trick lands on Coosbane and we learn the true identity of this arch fiend. Oh, it's Gonzo dressed up like Darth Vader. <laughs> I love it so much. The world will never know. I love how the mask is fitted over his Gonzo nose. That's so cute. It's a custom mask. Hear me out, Muppet Phantom of the Opera, but Gonzo is the Phantom. In other planetary news, Venus is about to make a hard landing on the Muppet newsroom. Doesn't make sense. Oh geez. Can I can I show that on my channel? I think they it's the Muppets. I think they made sure there were no nipples. But eh, I'm just like, come on, Muppet Show. I'm not trying to get demonetized here. You call that a soft landing? I sprained my solenoids. Poor C3PO. You forgot to push the stoppy thing. You mean a break? It's called a break, dummy. Yeah, that's called a break. You should know that if you're in charge of a spaceship. Shouldn't we be looking for a safe refuge on this planet? Exactly right, 3PO. I know. We could hide in that cave over there. Oh, yes, I'm sure nothing nefarious is in that cave. <laughs> it's... it's Darth Nader. What are they calling him? This is Darth Nader. I don't... I don't know what that means, but it's Gonzo, right? It's Gonzo in the Darth Vader costume. All right, Nader, take this! <gasps> At last you know the awful truth. So Luke pulls out a ray gun and is like, I'm gonna shoot him, and then he's Gonzo's like, not so fast. This here, my dear friend, is a crypto anagon transmitter. It can totally neutralize any blaster. Darth Gonzo. I'm gonna call him Darth Gonzo. This means we must resort to the ultimate weapon! Chewbacca the Wookiee! <laughs> Chewbacca is there- wait, does that mean that he actually was being held captive by the Muppets? I have- a, I have questions. I need explanations. <laughs> the jig is up! Nothing can stop good old Chewie! Wouldn't it be funny if Chewbacca just like, pulled him all the way away from the puppeteer and you just had the little hand left over? Angus McGonagall the gargling gargoyle! Trapped by Darth Nader, our weapon's useless, and now we're being tortured by gargling Gershwin. Let him have his moment. <laughs> what could possibly get us out of this? What else? A song and dance number. Luke's just like, oh, God. Look at the look of horror on his face. He couldn't have looked more upset if all of the Muppets started shitting right in front of him. That is a bad mental image. Sorry for putting that in your head. Take it, Chewie and R2. Aww. Is R2-D2 dancing with Chewbacca? That's so cute. C-3PO, you're next! 
I certainly don't dance. Oh, but this is our big ending. Oh, all right. C-3PO can tap dance with his one silver leg that I swear to God he hasn't always had. Lucky I once saw a Fred Astaire film. I love that the tapping doesn't match up with the steps, but it doesn't matter at all. Oh, really wonderful. Okay, Luke, you're next. Uh, not me. I'll go get my cousin. He's getting his cousin Mark, guys. He'll be right back. Mark gets to sing, too. Everybody gets to sing. I just saw the castle. <laughs> what a big finish. Everybody take a bow. Before we go, let us bring out these stars of Star Wars, and here they are, two back in the world. Chewbacca gets to be in something on TV that isn't the Star Wars Holiday Special, thank God. I don't remember, was C-3PO in the Star Wars Holiday Special? I feel like I blocked it out, it was that bad. Don't you think we ought to introduce my cousin? Uh, sure, uh, you want to uh, uh, go out and uh, send him in? Well, that won't be necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Hamill. So canonically, in the Muppet universe, it is a universe where Luke Skywalker is an entity by himself and he's also aware of Mark Hamill's existence. I want to see this be a full-time show. Why wasn't this a spin-off? Say, Luke, who's your tailor? I love that outfit. <laughs> like, get him off screen quickly. We don't want to do this split screen thing for too long. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that uh, wraps it up. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Muppet Show. And that's the end. Isn't that delightful? Shit, I have to get on live stream in two minutes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. This is really cute. Jim Henson's great. J Jim Henson made great things. It was great. I love Mark Hamill. He's great. The Muppets are great. The Muppet Show is great. If you want to see more episodes of The Muppet Show covered on this channel, please let me know which ones you would like to see. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye. Well, for some of you, you're about to see me on live, so not bye. But also, if you're seeing this, then it would have already happened anyway. See ya.